Hey, so in this video, um, I'm going to continue working on this Flutter tattoo app. And this time I switched IDEs um, just to test it out. So this is a an IDE by ByteDance, which is the, uh, I believe it's the parent company of TikTok or maybe vice versa. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think that's right. But yeah, anyways, let's see. So it's. Uh, I'll leave this in the comments too, or the description, but tray.ai. And so it is a fork of um, VS Code, but the UI is <laughs> way different than uh, Cursor and Winsurf. And another cool benefit of this is that it's, I'll just scroll to the bottom, it's free. So you can use a uh, Claude and uh, GPT 4.0. For free but yeah it's pretty much I guess the same um, functionality as uh, Claude and Windsurf so yeah oh you can add images as well I don't I think they just now added that because <laughs> yeah I didn't see that before but yeah, so let's try it out. So I guess just to recap, um, last time uh, what we added was the services, I believe, or we did the app bar. That was like the last thing. We also the services and we made these cards a separate widget. But yeah, now I want to create the uh, detail um, pages for the services. So yeah, we'll just start with and yeah this is free I don't know if it will be free forever but <laughs> I'll take advantage of it uh, while it is free so let's see um, and I won't even give it context so you can also give it context like service which is not even doesn't seem to work let's see sometimes on the other IDEs you have to open the files first so maybe Or maybe it's okay so it's different so the other IDEs it's at but um, this one you have to use the um, pound or hash yeah pound or hash sign whatever and then just the, either the file name or code okay you have to click enter you can't really type the name that's weird so it's not as, <laughs> I guess, user friendly. I mean, I haven't looked at the docs either, so maybe there's a better way to do that. But I'm not even going to give it context. I'll just do um, create the service uh, detail page. And I'll just see if it can figure it out by itself. So let's see. this is pretty cool so it's creating the service detail page I don't know if it even looked at <laughs> like the service card okay yeah don't forget to add the import statement at the top I guess they didn't add that part for us oh for any of this really Oh, builder is what I should have used. I'll just use this for now, I guess. I'll just accept all of it, I guess. So let's see. Do it or or shift or. Okay. So let's click on a part. I don't know. Or learn more maybe so yeah it's not working oh complete unresolved changes service I guess yeah we did change those or 
maybe we can. Okay, yeah, because that's the code we need. Um, to go to the next page, to the service detail page. So, I guess I did not do that. Okay, yeah, so that works. Let's go to these other ones. So it does pass um, the data from the service detail page. So yeah, that was flawless, really. So I want to try the builder to um, let's do create the contact page. So I guess builder mode is where it will actually I haven't read the doc, so <laughs> I'm guessing uh, bu builder mode or yeah, builder um, does the automated like changing of the code. So it fails. So let's try it again. Yeah, I just noticed I downloaded the wrong <laughs> version. So I downloaded Intel, but I'm using. The, I have the Apple Silicon a chip. So let's see if that fixes the issue. See, let's see if we don't get a client error. Yeah, so it, okay. Seems like it's working now. So yeah, that was my fault. Okay. I'll just go ahead and accept it. Uh, but yeah, I need to run this as well. I'll go ahead and look at the code. So we have a column, two text widgets, get in touch. Okay, let's see. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, that was my alarm but um contact so I don't have any other contacts like so I guess it didn't oh actually let's do R let's do shift R okay so that's not working it did create the page but I guess I didn't give the context either though. I, I just wanted to test if it would uh, figure that out. But yeah, um, I'll just say actually, instead of telling it, I'll just say, um, now I need to navigate to the contacts page. I'll see if it figures it out, but yeah, if not, I'll tell it <laughs> to look at the nav bar. Uh, okay, yeah, it says I'll help you integrate it into the navigation system by adding a navigation item. It's already there, but okay, so it's checking the navigation. It says it's adding one, but it's already there, so I wonder. Okay. There's already a contact, so I guess that's one thing. <laughs> um, it didn't check the whole file, so we already have a contact. I, I don't usually um, prompt it like this. I usually give it context, but I just wanted to test it out to see uh, how far. Okay. So it did add the, instead of just popping for this, it, um, do I even have the, I don't believe I even have the routing set up to work like that. Yeah, 
So I don't believe this will even work. So let's see. Yeah. I don't have routing set up to work this way. Yeah, because you would have to set it up in main. It's pretty simple, but I don't I wanna see how it fixes this. I forgot the actual <laughs> name for it, the routing where you get with the actual uh, stream. Because the other way, instead of um, routing like that, you can just reference the widget. Seems like it's trying to create Oh, okay. I mean, I didn't ask it to create the gallery page, but that's something we didn't have before anyway, so I guess I'll accept it. But then, uh, okay, there was an issue, but it fixed it. So it's still working. Yeah, I guess one thing is I can't tell if it's finished. <laughs> okay, I just needed to close this. So let's do this this way. Okay, so yeah, there's contact. But yeah, I can't see this. It's because they made it um, like translucent. We'll look at gallery. Services. Okay, so that's, there's an issue there, but I didn't even did it create the services page? I don't know. I don't remember creating that. Oh, I guess it's just routing to the services section, maybe. Yeah. I mean, it shouldn't do that, but. Because that's meant to be used as. I mean, I don't even want to call it section, but yeah. Um, get the, yeah, I don't want to go, I kind of don't want to go any further. Okay, yeah, I'll just do that. Mm. I can't see the nav on pages where, on pages that have, We'll do the step. I don't know what this does. Nothing. So, I mean, that could be the contact page, but we'll do a separate schedule consultation page. I mean, this app is pretty much finished. I want maybe. <laughs> uh, I might just finish it out. I didn't even look at the code, I just accepted it. <laughs> so, I went, which one's saying it was before? Adding a subtle background and shadow to the app bar for better contrast. Okay. Yeah, you can kind of see it, but it's still, oh, actually, let me do a hard reload. Still seeing translucent. But it does have like a, a subtle color to it. I mean, you can't really see. I could tell by looking at that. Okay, they did change. Okay. Yeah, I don't like these colors, but I mean, it's fine. Okay, so depending on the page, I mean, I didn't even look at the code. Let me see. Can you look at the diff again? I need to look at the entire.
Oh yeah, depending on the route. <laughs> Basically, if it's the home route, it's making the uh, page white. If not, uh, it will make the color black. So, I mean, I guess that's okay. I don't know if I would handle it like that, but I mean, it works. So what else? I think I want, okay, actually we can do the gallery page with the other AI. So I'll stop here and yep, thanks.